let's have a chat. So a few days ago, the beginning of July, I did a video about how I was gonna clean up my way of eating a little bit. I'd let some things creep in. I was gonna go back more to a carnivore-ish type way of eating, like 95% carnivores where I wanted to go. And every day since then I have posted a video of what I'm eating. Some are recipes, some are just like videos of me eating bacon and eggs. Like, you know, you don't really need a recipe for bacon and eggs, right? I almost never use the label carnivore and we're going to talk about why. <laughs> Hi, if you're new here, my name is Nisha and I do lifestyle wellness and motherhood vlogs here on my channel. What I eat in a day's recipes and just everyday life. So if you're new, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> Here's the main reason why I hate, loathe, loathe using the term and the label carnivore on any video, on any post, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, any kind of social media. That word brings out all the internet experts to tell you how you are doing this wrong. So over the past four, nearly four years, I've used ketivore, uh, carnivore-ish. I almost never use the term carnivore. And, oh, I did it. And here they come. I have so many good friends that are carnivores that are just normal people that are not extremists and they don't treat carnivore as this so sort of religion. However, the carnivore community can be a little rough. And let me tell you what I'm talking about. So the very first video that I did, I'll put it here so you can see it. They're on my shorts feed, Instagram and TikTok because, you know, I had already made them. So why not post them there too? And the recipe is for chicken fries and I dipped them in carnivore crisp chicken flour and I fried them. Now in the voiceover, I accidentally say hot oil instead of hot grease. And oh my God, you have no idea how many, <laughs> how many people were like, oil isn't carnivore, it's also not healthy, bad oil seeds, vegetable seeds, like, oh my God. The, the amount of people in the comment section caught up on that one specific detail, it was a lot. Uh, it was grease for like, wow, it was a lot, okay? So, huh, all right, so that's, that's one nitpicky thing that has happened so far. Another thing is electrolytes aren't carnivore. Oh, okay, if you don't wanna use stevia in your carnivore, that's fine. These don't actually bother me at all with the sweetener. I am more triggered by emotional eating, which is what my first video was about. Like I have cravings because I'm stressed out. Sweetened stuff doesn't really make me have cravings and this doesn't give me any issues. I love Element electrolytes. I use them every single day. I use them in recipes too. In fact, this one is the mango chili. This is especially good on shrimp, which is carnivore, unless you talk to like the other guys in the comments who are schooling me on how carnivore is only ruminant meat and you cannot be carnivore and eat safe food. <laughs> what are you talking about? Element has a lot of salt in it, a thousand milligrams. Of course, it's got potassium and magnesium, of course. These help me. I feel much better when I have salt in my diet, extra salt. Now, that's for me. Is that for you? I don't know, but if you're interested in introducing electrolytes, sweetened or unsweetened, they actually have unflavored as well. Element is the best ones that I have used, and I've used a lot of electrolytes over my journey. I highly recommend Element unflavored or flavored you use the link on the screen or in the comments element will send you a free sample pack looks like this comes with eight different flavors for you to try it even comes with the raw unflavored as well so if you want to give element a try just head down there and click on that link and it'll set you up for this free sample pack with any purchase thank you again to element for sponsoring today's video
This is where it gets crazy, right? I did another recipe that involved cheese. Well, actually all of my recipes currently involve cheese. Y'all, cheese is not carnivore too. Cheese, cheese. I am allowed to have cheese. Why? Because I'm the boss of me, all right? And I am not sensitive to cheese, specific cheeses. Um, I'm sensitive to liquid dairy, a heavy cream in particular, but my way of eating, I've done the carnivore pure as an elimination diet. I do fine with cheeses, thank God. All right, <laughs> they cause me no issues. However, it's the nitpicking. It's the nitpicking for me. I think, like, I just cannot use that term carnivore because I cannot, I cannot with the, the cheese isn't carnivore. Your electrolytes are not carnivore. Fish and shrimp are not carnivore. Your earrings are not carnivore. Let's say they're strawberries. Like it's just so extreme and it's off-putting to people who may want to do carnivore and they attempt it and share on Instagram and they are immediately attacked by people who are like, you can't eat cheese. These people like quote, quote, people that I know personally and I'm friends with, like, you know, you don't follow the right people. Like, dude, I'm married to Dr. Berry. So carnivore-ish, ketovore, we're not using carnivore. I can't, it's crazy. Seasonings even, like if I if add anything but salt, it's not carnivore. Some people don't even want you to add salt. No, you can't have salt, you shouldn't have salt, you don't need salt. Like, I like salt, I'm gonna eat salt. Salt is good. Coffee. Coffee is not carnivore. Okay. I'm gonna drink my coffee. Also, unless you're draining the blood from uh, your beef, your water also isn't carnivore, so. Are you truly a carnivore if you're not drinking the blood? Are you? Keep in mind a lot of these people have never hunted a day in their life. Like, I, I'll see your dairy isn't carnivore and uh, and raise you, <laughs> I, I actually went in the woods and, and killed this venison. So can you say that? Are you even a carnivore if you didn't get your gun and go to the woods and hunt it yourself? Dress it in the field yourself? Are you? Are you? Y'all, this is a little bit satire. Don't take it personally. Some people will, and that's okay. I'm not for those people, but like my point is carnivore started as like keto. It was very simple. Like you eat meat, dairy was allowed, butter was allowed. Now, now butter's not allowed. I don't know. Like it was a simple thing and no one fought over it. We were all just like, huzzah, look at how good we feel. This is amazing. The benefits of carnivore are amazing. I love carnivore the most when I eat like I'm eating currently, which is pretty carnivore, I feel the best, but I just cannot label myself a carnivore because it's just, it's a zoo out there. The comments and people getting really, really defensive about very small, minute details. I hate that it can come across sort of vegan-y to those people who are maybe new to carnivore, have never heard of carnivore, are interested in carnivore, and see that kind of extreme emotional reaction to some small things, small details. Uh, when I can say, if you are someone who is eating meat, cheese, and eggs, and coffee, and you've come from the standard American diet, honey, that's amazing. And I, I, I hope that you do not, if you are someone who is giving this a try and you've heard, you know, all kinds, of, if, and you're getting flack, don't give up, all right, stick with it, make it your own. That's another reason we came up with the term proper human diet, because it's real hard to tell me that this is not a proper human diet. However, I've had people tell me certain things are not a part of proper human diet. It's interesting. People have a problem with the garlic that I add to butter. Like it's, it's, you know, that's, it's just a lot of emotion. 
attached to a way of eating that is supposed to just make you feel better and happy and thriving and I want you to find the best way that works for you. That's why I teach in my group how to do an elimination diet using carnivore and I introduce you to the different levels of carnivore. If you're in our private community, you already have access to that. I'll put the link in the show notes so that you can understand like, can you have onions sometimes? Can you have some cheeses? Are you sensitive to coffee? Can you have the flavored or unflavored element? Do you need more salt? Whatever, whatever, N equals one experiments. I want everyone to give carnivore a try. I just don't want you to feel like <laughs> it's all negative, but it, it, like there's some Facebook groups that are carnivore. <sighs> Got some. There are some people who really do not like me. <laughs> like really, really do not like me. So anything I say is dumb and I'm just a bimbo and I have no, I have nothing to give to this community. Of course, most people are super supportive. Most of you are. You, you have shown so much love in the comments and you appreciate me sharing what I'm eating every single day. So I thank you to you guys. But let's just, Let's just stop with the carnivore. I'm just, I'm not gonna use that term anymore. I just cannot do it. But we're gonna, we're gonna carnivore-ish and ketivore. Like I just, from this day forward, I just not, I can't use the term carnivore on social media. So to all of you who are following me on this challenge, I hope your version of carnivore-ish or ketivore is going really well. We can do this. Today is actually 4th of July. Which is why I'm like <laughs> super red, have the red lipstick. I'm having burgers and hot dogs. Watch me get some crap for the hot dogs, guys. It will happen, I promise you. I'll probably get some hate for the pickles that I'm gonna put in my deviled eggs as well. So if you like this video, found it funny, informational, entertaining, Make sure you hit that thumb on the way out. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for notifications. Obviously. Thanks for watching. Love you, mean it. Bye.